Hey, welcome back guys. Again, my name is Jack. I'm a freelance video editor slash videographer as well as YouTuber with 70,000 subscribers producing weekly content based around video production. But without further ado, we are going to be looking at a basic overview of the Premiere Pro layout. So let's get right into it. This on screen is more or less what you'll see once you first off load up Premiere Pro. The only variation is the fact that I have previous projects that I've worked on, so this area for you should just be blank. Let's just go ahead and create a new project. Boom! Right here is obviously the default stuff they put in here for us. For me, this is all good. For you, maybe you'd want to change the location if that matters for you. And overall, the name, we could just go ahead and put the name as Premiere Pro Example. And we can go down here and hit OK. Now when everything loads up, this should be pretty much more or less exactly what you see. This is the basic default Premiere Pro layout. Now down here is the import media. We're not going to import anything just yet, but once you do, this is where you would organize all your clips by creating various different folders and stuff like that. Also up here, once you've uh, imported clips into your timeline and created a sequence, you would have a, uh, an overview actually up here before you imported it into your sequence of your clip. Then here in the effects controls when you were playing with your clip down here in the timeline, you will be able to mess with all the variables, whether that be the opacity, the motion, or even the keyframes and other little variables like that. Again, guys, we're going to be getting to all of this more extensively later on in the lesson. So personally for me, when I'm actually using Premiere Pro, I tend to stay in the editing tab. I do venture into the assembly tab sometimes just because the layout's a little bit nicer for piecing together my composition. However, these are the two main ones I would suggest you stay in. And uh, if you do start varying out of here, it's very possible if you're not familiar with the layout first, you will get lost. So just try remember, if you're confused on what's going on, try and make sure you're on either editing or assembly, because oftentimes you might have wandered off somewhere over here. Again, we're going to be getting to these now. These are very simple. They all serve a different purpose. Color is, of course, what you'd expect, your color grading and color correction. Now, again, none of the variables um, and further information come up because we have yet to import clips into our sequence. So these are simply the raw panels in themselves. Now, color, obviously, as I just mentioned, is all of your basic color correction and color grading needs. Effects is a big library and database of the video effects, the audio effects, video transitions, audio transitions, and presets of all kinds. Now, we're gonna be getting into how to import presets and all of that later on. There's the audio tab, which is quite simple as well. I don't really venture in there too much because you have a lot of audio control option, even not in the audio tab. Then the graphics tab, very useful, all your titles, lower thirds, all this kind of graphic material can be created here and then tweaked and adjusted by keyframes and other variables like that over here in the effects control. Then you've got libraries and again, I don't really go into libraries too much. Libraries and all this stuff can actually be accessed down here in this kind of bottom left section in the editing tab. So again, the editing tab kind of encompasses all this crazy stuff over here by duplicating it all down here. Now guys, uh, here's a little bit of information personally, right? I tend to leave the default Premiere Pro layout how it is. This is how I don't get confused too much. I like it. They've done a pretty good job of organizing stuff for you and putting it where it should be and most practically is, right? However, you do have the option, if you want to, to change and alter stuff. The way you would do that, if perhaps you want, uh, let's say, your project over here, is drag it and hold, and then simply drag over to wherever else on the screen you would want and slot it into one of these pieces. Now, personally, this just doesn't work out for me. I think Premiere Pro do a good job of organizing things for you, but that is in your hands. Also, if you uh, want to add anything else, a window that maybe doesn't appear that you want, you simply go up to Window, and then you can add whatever other windows you want by clicking. For example, we can do a, a, an example here by adding the Lumetri color by clicking, and that will pop up over here. And then if we wanted to reverse that process, we could right-click these drop-down three lines and click Close Panel. And that, guys, is a brief overview of the Premiere Pro layout. 